Hey, 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 this is Barbara from Barbara Journals and also Inspired Paper and Designs. So today I want to show you um, a neat resource on Lulu. So Lulu is one of the printing companies that I use to print my journals, notebooks, and planners when I'm not printing them from home. So if you come and you click on resources, you'll see publishing toolkit. And it's a couple of things I want to point out that they have on here um, that's completely free to help you with designing. So first you see the formatting guides. They have the book creation, ebook, and calendar so that these are all options of products you can create on Lulu. And then if you come down here, they also have some marketing guides for you. But what I really wanted to highlight were the notebook interior pages. So they have some sample designs like blank, line, graph, and dot. And this is if you just want to focus primarily on creating the cover, getting the formatting on the cover right, and then you just upload their pages. So I uploaded um, from here just to give you an idea of what it would look like. So when I downloaded the pages, it, let me see which one it is. It's actually this one. So when I download the pages and I did the lined interior pages, they give you one, a hundred or 200. And it comes in executive, pocket, and U.S. trade. Executive, I, I think, is um, when we go in the training, we'll see for sure because I don't want to give you the wrong number. Um, pocketbook is um, smaller than the U.S. trade. U.S. trade is six by nine. So these sizes we're going to go check out in a minute. But they only give you three options, executive, pocketbook, and U.S. trade. Executive is seven by 10. And I think pocketbook is close to the A by um, A4 size. So we're going to go check it out. So that's for the notebook interior pages. But then they also give you for planner interior pages. They also give you a couple of options as well. And if you scroll down, they also made some bundles for that. So like you have the 12 month weekly, then you have the 12 month weekly with a habit tracker. So they gave you a couple of different options. If you want to just focus primarily on designing a cover and not really worry about the interior pages, but if you want to make it more customized, um, dependent on the market, um, or depending on who your customer is, I encourage you to check out my templates and I will leave a link below so that you can check out the templates that I created on Canva that are completely edible and gives you some flexibility um, in regards to how to um, set up the templates that you need for your to design your temp, your um, interior pages. So then right here is your design gu guide bundle. So this includes based on whichever page you had select, it gives you the interior and the cover templates that you can use. They have here for um, Adobe InDesign and Photoshop, but I'm going to show you how you can use it for Canva. So if you go here and remember i said up top they had the three options so if you go here executive is seven by ten pocketbook is 4.25 by 6.875 and then like i said us trade is six by nine so if you choose the bundle up here those are your three options but i'm going to show you like i said how to use this not only for Photoshop and InDesign, but also for Canva. So I already downloaded the, I think it's the 8.5 by 11 that I downloaded. I'm trying to remember because I was playing around with the six by nine as well. Yep, I did eight and a half by 11. So when you download the designer bundle, it gives you the cover templates and the interior templates. Um, I'm, well, I'll do both. Let me do the interior templates first. Because I know that's one that a lot of um, a lot of my tribes struggle with. So when you go here and you click on U.S. Letter Interior for the PDF, this is what comes up, right? So I'm going to go ahead. No, I don't want to do that. I'm going to. Oops, hold on. Okay, I want to go ahead and download this. So I'm going to do um, save as. And I'm going to save this. I want to save it to my desktop so I can find it faster. So let me see, desktop. And I'm just going to name it Lulu Sample. Lulu, I'm going to say Lulu Sample Interior Page. All right. So I'm saving that as a PDF, right? 
Oh, it's going to make me sign in. Hold on. Let me see if I can get around this real quick. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> that, was, that, that didn't take long as long as I thought it would. All right, so let me try to go back. All right. Let me see if it's saved. File, save as. Let me see. And you do hear my daughter's in the background. <laughs> so, okay, so it is. Okay, let me. I'm going to save it again just in case. And I'm going to say replace existing file. All right. So I saved it as a PDF. Now, if you go to PDF to PNG and you upload the file, this will convert it to a PNG. So I'm going to go to desktop and where is it at? Lulu sample interior page. So it's converting it to a PNG. I'm going to go ahead and download that. And I'm going to open it here. So I extract the file. Okay, we should be good. Let me double check. Let me see, this should be it. Yep, PNG. All right, so now all I have to do is go to Canva. And I'm going to start off with just the eight and a half by 11, but I know I'm going to have to make it bigger and I'm going to show you why in a second, but I'm going to start off with eight and a half by 11 because that's the regular letter size, but I know I'm going to have to change it based on the cover, the interior page dimensions. So then I can go to upload, upload file from my device and it's in my downloads right here and there it is so like i said i know i have to make it and i'm gonna make this bigger i know i have to make this larger because right here is telling me the total document size is 8.75 by um let me close that 8.75 by 11.25 so i'm gonna go over here to resize and i'm gonna change it to 8.75 11.25 and then I'm going to resize. Oops, I'm sorry. 11.25, 8.75. All right, there we go. So I'm going to bring this up here and I'm going to stretch it out. I'm going to change this to 50 just so I can stretch it out. And then I'm going to enlarge it so you can see what we're working with. So this is what you will use in order to design your interior pages. And what I would say is, once you have this, you can delete it, start designing, bring this back to see if you fall within the margins. And all you have to do is make it transparent so that way you can see your design on top of um, the margins to make sure you stay in place. So let's click here. So the total document size with the bleed is 8.75 by 11.25, right? So it trims at 8.5 by 11, which is the letter size. Your live area is all this white area in here. And then it's saying your safety margin is 0.5 from the trim edge. So if the trim, so this is, so I would say in the bleed area from the trim edge is, you know, which is the trim edge is right here. So you have 0.5 from here to here. And then it's saying 0.125 for the bleed. So I would say stay within. Um, I would say stay within, definitely within the live, you good, of course. Safety margin, you want to be careful because anything beyond that is going to start getting dangerous. So I would say I usually go maybe halfway in between here. That way I'm still in the safety margin, but I'm not at the trim. So I usually say stay right in this area. All right. Just to be on the safe side. So maybe halfway within the safety margin. But this is an amazing tool that um, Lulu has that helps you with any of the sizes that they offer. And then the other side, the other thing that they have, you would do the same thing. I'm not going to do it on here for time's sake, but let me see if this is it right here. Let me go the long way. Download and then book template. It's the same thing for the cover. 
They and here, which is really, really good, they have all the options that they offer. They have cover templates for all the options. So if you're like, well, you know what, I want to create a hard cover, but I'm really not sure of the dimensions, this comes in a PNG. So all you have to do is download this. Oh, hold on. Let me see. Okay. So this opened up as a photo. Uh, so let's see if I can upload it straight to Lulu. I mean, straight to Canva. So let's go to Canva. I'm just going to use this same one. Um, if I need to resize it, I can. It's not a big deal. So let me make this 50. And I know I'm going to have to resize it. So let's see if I can just go ahead and upload it. So I'm in upload media from my device. And we're going to go back to downloads. Um, that's not the one I'm so on. Sorry about that. Um, book template. We're going to do cover. I think I said hardcover. And we're going to select PNG. And let's see what happens. Okay, cool. So I already know I'm going to have to drag it out. So I can see what their dimensions are. So let's see. Their dimensions are the total document size is, oops, sorry about that. 19 by 12.75. So we're going to resize this, make it 19 by 12.75. Resize. And I'm going to make this smaller so you can see it. So I made this 50. I may have to make it a little bit smaller. Oh, okay. We just made it. All right. And I'll probably go in so that you can see it. So this is a hardcover design. So they show you the front cover. They have the back cover. Let's zoom in and read what the specifications are. So this is so the total document size with the wrap. Then it has the book cover size, the book trim size. It says for the case wrap. The minimum of 24 pages in the spine. So on here, and this is this is not the hardcover. This is the um, I'm sorry. This isn't the hardcover. This is I think with the dust um dust cover. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, it says hardcover. Okay, hold on. Let me go back. I thought it was um the dust jacket. Okay, this is the hardcover. Okay, so for the hardcover, it's telling you. That this is the entire the entire document size that you need. And then it's telling you the book cover size, which is in here. And then it's showing you the book trim, the spine. So this is what the spine size would be. It's showing you what's live. It's showing you the safety and the wrap area. So it's showing you all that information so that you'll know where to place your images when it comes to the book cover. And they have it for each one. I primarily do um Spiral. So because I do spiral, it says right here, like it says no coil because it's, it's spiral cover. So there's no, um, I don't have to, I mean, it says no um, spine because with um, spiral, it doesn't require the spine because it's, you know, the sheet of paper. So this is all I want to show you on Lulu. Definitely take advantage of their publishing resources. And as well, like I said, if you want something more um, customize something that you can make changes to to fit the customer that you that you're targeting. Please check out my templates. I will leave a link below. As always, feel free to share this video with anyone you think that needs to help. Comments are appreciated and welcome. And I look forward to hearing from you guys real soon. All right, have an amazing day.